All right, we are starting chapter five today, um, titled Determination. And um, I put the quote in there, you were given this life because you were strong enough to live it. Ugh, man, what a double-edged sword. Couldn't I learn to live with something else and still be strong? Yuck. Uh, during the, this chapter, it's been three months into my recovery. I'm still laying in a hospital bed in the middle of my living room. And there's two things going through my mind constantly. And it's, am I gonna be able to make it through this pain? Cause the pain was just atrocious, astronomical. And the question, am I going to be okay? And I didn't really know what that question meant. Um, it meant, you know, am I gonna be okay physically? Basically, am I going to walk again or am I not? And the other thing was all of this chaos that was going around in my chest and in my head. Am I ever gonna be okay from that? Am I ever going to feel whole again and not so unsettled. And this is also the chapter where I have not a second nightmare, but this one was more of a dream about the man who had hit us. And uh, it was a very emotional dream. It was, you know, since he passed away on impact, I never got to have that interaction with him. I never got that confrontation. And um, in my dream, I did, and uh, I, I I got to talk to him in my dream and, and tell him, you hurt me, you hurt me. And my husband woke me up and said I was just uncontrollably sobbing in my dream and he didn't understand what was wrong. He didn't know if I was asleep or if I was awake. And whew, that was a big moment as well. So, um, I say every chapter is full, but every chapter is full. So here's to number five.